Hi everyone, how are you doing? Kamal here and I welcome you all to the hands-on video of build 10149, the latest Windows 10 mobile preview build. We have this build running on four of our devices and uh, it's now many days that this build has landed on uh, Windows Insider devices. So now we, thank, uh, now we think that we would be able to share our detailed impressions or review of this build and we will cover all the changes whether listed or unlisted of this build. So starting with changes, we will first see the most visible change that this build brings. So talking about animations, there are new animations. Whenever you open an app or you go back to the home screen, you can actually notice the new animations. The good thing about these animations are like that they uh, just make the build feel faster. Uh, I mean, we are not trying to say that build is not fast. It's really one of the most polished, fastest or quickest build for Windows 10 Mobile that we have seen it. Uh, but yeah, the animations really, I mean, f make it feel faster. <clears throat> Coming to UI changes, uh, I cannot show it on this uh, Lumia 540, but on Lumia 640XL or on Lumia uh, 1520, you can see uh, four column uh, start screen which means you can fit four mid-size tiles on the start screen we have shared that in on one of the articles you can go and check the article for the uh, screenshot okay coming to an <coughs> other changes if you go to action center you can see now the four rows of quick action buttons and apart from that you are uh, you would be able to see uh, new quick action buttons like flashlight note and one of the most demanded mobile so uh, these are the new uh, toggles or action buttons which have come uh, there is also like uh, I think we have not demoed it earlier so it's quite it has become quite easier to actually you know uh, collapse the action center okay <clears throat> coming to more UI changes if you go to the app list you can see the search bar is now dark it has got a dark look apart from that if you have a, a device like Lumia 540 then you can see that swiping up to display and hide the navigation bar is back some uh, apps like camera they have come with the new icon and if you go to the volume bar you would be able to see uh, new icons for both the volume bars here so these are some of the ui changes that this build brings coming to more changes we can uh, go to microsoft edge and see microsoft edge has uh, many many new changes to show off so you can see here the address bar that has moved to bottom you can see the tabs here so these were like most i mean much demanded in private tabs these i think were present here but now they all wear a new look and uh, with the uh, I mean tabs moving here it has become quite easy coming to uh, settings that what to clear settings has like an enhanced look you can choose much more than you could have done earlier then uh, must mention that now you can choose between mobile version and desktop version one of the really uh, I mean useful features that I will say in terms of advanced setting there are not uh, many changes but it's good to see uh, that the uh, I mean Microsoft Edge has become uh, quite quite uh, usable now quite useful now one of the <coughs> most important features like Cortana it has also undergone uh, many changes so we will just look so this you can see this hamburger menu had changed now uh, the, many of the options are missing here you, which you could have seen on the last builds so if you are wondering where are those options those have moved to notebook in notebook you can see about me quite our settings and you can see many new uh, I mean many new and many revamped interest as well so feel see what is in about, about me so you can do I mean change your name and favorite places edit your favorites now going back to notebook you can set quiet hours here 
again going back to notebook we will check settings so few of the settings have moved here so like you can now uh, i mean i think it was present earlier but just wanted to show so lock screen options they have moved here so one of the change and other Cortana setting like read incoming text max message allowed. So it was if you see in Windows Phone 8.1, it uh, both these options, this lock screen options as well as read and incoming text maxes, messages allowed. Those settings were present elsewhere, but now it's good to see that Microsoft has like consolidated and brought all the settings here under Cortana itself. So not only these, if you see like some new interest like transportation now appear here these all settings or like interest now are uh, revamped and while transportation is new and provides lots of option to choose from if you go to other interests like uh, if we talk about let us say food and drink so you can see now this it, it's much revamped so you have now so many options you best near restaurant recommendations at a price range occasionally cuisine preferences so a lot of interesting options in the interests we talk about events you can choose from lots of event categories that's very interesting actually so this is how uh, Cortana has changed lots of changes, especially in settings in the menu, etc., and uh, and also in the interest part. So now uh, going back to uh, music, there is very one. Uh, okay, so it, it's where uh, it shows that it's a preview build, so it just uh, restarted. Okay, so till the time it comes back we will share some of our impressions here so we have earlier told you that uh, the build is one of the most polished and most stable builds ever but yes it's a preview build and uh, after putting it through paces in our daily use on many, uh, four of our devices we could find that it still has got many bugs uh, i mean two of the most annoying bugs are like uh, it it's, uh, gets frozen at times so you have to do a soft reset or it can just get uh, restarts, crashes. So that really occurs. Uh, I mean, the frequency is far more less than what you could have seen on other builds, but still, these two annoying bugs are there. So, as you have just seen an example that it restarted, crashed and restarted. So, that happens. And obviously, it, it, can, it can get frozen like twice or thrice in a day. So, if you can live with that, build 10149 is really a very good build. It's really fast. And uh, most of the things are sorted out like you can use accounts etc so i mean uh, if we have to give a score on a i mean 10 so we will give it somewhere like 7 or 7.5 so it's an usable build but yes it has got a bit i mean uh, it, it has got some bugs and uh, if you can live with those bugs it, the build is meant for you on your main device okay now coming to more changes so we were talking about music so one of the changes that has come now is uh, that you will see uh, that uh, okay so uh, I mean it, it can now play FLSE files so this is one of the songs and if we go to file explorer we can see that uh, this is actually FLSE file so okay <clears throat> So you can see the FLC file support is already here, FLC format support is already here. And while many of us uh, know that, uh, I mean, it may need a particular, a, good, a particular kind of hardware to take maximum advantage of this feature, but it is always welcome that it is here now. Okay, now coming to uh, one more interesting settings or interesting new feature that we uh, accidentally found or like, uh, so what we can do that we can try to connect and we'll see that 
uh, it now supports ygig which is like one of the i mean quickest of uh, i mean i mean uh, i mean fastest kind of uh, connection that uh, so ygig support has been uh, like added with windows 10 mobile so uh, it obviously needs a very good processor like snapdragon 810 but uh, uh, i mean since we we understand that some uh, future flagships will run on snapdragon 810 so it's always good that uh, it comes with y gig support so we may see this happening on future devices coming back to settings so uh, one important setting is back your accounts where you can go and manage your account we have uh, posted about this in one of our article and you can actually go and see that it seems that even uh, multiple account support can be there in future apart from that sign in options are here where it's easy to create or add a pin so it's quite important great i mean good settings so pretty pretty useful things i mean Apart from that, if you talk about the camera, so we have uh, posted some videos which uh, demo the, uh, I mean, digital stabilization. So the good news is that uh, now the digital stabilization works much better. So it was obviously present earlier as well in uh, build 10136, but it was not as good, but uh, with build 10149 the digital stabilization has become uh, improved okay uh, <clears throat> so one more uh, i mean i cannot i mean uh, i cannot uh, uh, i mean i have to mention this because uh, i mean i i think from lumia 540 this feature was missing so it's very important you may have seen that on lumia 640 excel uh, which is like a device having a display of uh, display size of more than five inch reachability feature was present with last build now this reachability feature is on uh, lumia 540 as well so uh, i think all the devices though uh, that have a display size of five inch also can take uh, i mean take help of this feature or can make use of this feature which is very good very important Okay, one more very important feature is uh, like private notifications. So if you uh, now go to any of the notifications, you can you see this option of keep notification private on the lock screen. So if you enable that, all the uh, notification from this particular app will appear as private on your lock screen. So we have again uh, posted this in one of our articles, which you can go and check for the more screenshots but uh, these were like uh, fairly important settings one more feature which has not yet arrived but uh, we have ample signals or hints that it's going to arrive in future which is obviously one of the most uh, must uh, most asked about feature is uh, call recording and you can see this new folder appearing in uh, the file explorer so when you when you have uh, voice voice recorder which is the native windows 10 voice recorder as soon as you will open this app for the first time so as soon as you open this app you will see this folder appearing here recorded calls and if you go to the uh, app permissions of voice recorder you will see that it wants the you know permission for recorded calls so all this hint to the fact that uh, in future we may see this uh, call recording feature arriving on windows 10 mobile so with that uh, we have covered all the features and changes which are listed or unlisted uh, yeah so uh, i i must mention one more uh, good feature is that now if you talk about app downloads so the cellular data cap is gone and from store if you down the apps or install it you don't have to face that annoying uh, you know limit of uh, cellular data and you can download uh, I mean big apps big games so that is one feature that has also arrived or that's one uh, you know much required change that has arrived 
so with that uh, we we come to the end of you know uh, covering the changes we have shared our impressions as well and we will again reiterate that while the windows uh, 10 mobile build 10149 is a very usable build it's quite fast very fast actually you can compare to some stable builds like windows phone 8.1 gdr2 builds and uh, it gets many features back it has very uh, i mean some very good features usable features uh, but if you talk about bugs it does have some bugs especially the uh, I mean freeze bug or uh, crashing bug it does happen but it happens uh, much less frequently than it used to happen on other builds so i mean it's upon you if your choice that if you want to have it on your main device or not but we have it on our four of our devices and we are using it and i mean it's satisfactory is fine as a daily build and uh, knowing that I, I mean it's like a windows insider build i'm uh, pretty fine uh, living with this build so with that i i finished this video hope you have liked this video uh, keep posting your views in, in the comments and do let us know what you think uh, for next time we will cover more uh, just stay tuned thanks